sophomore year of college, so it's been about 20 some years ago, I took a photography class and I just fell in love with it. And uh, from that moment on, I was like, this is what I want to do with my life. I, I want to take pictures. A lot of people ask me why I shoot landscapes in Nebraska. I really don't shoot them anywhere else. The, a few of them in North Carolina where I live because I get bored. Yeah, I honestly go after lonely objects. I, uh, I'm, I'm by myself a lot. I'm kind of a, a recluse in that way. And so when I, I see something to photograph, it's usually not in a busy, crazy place. It's generally in a very secluded area. I'm from Nebraska and, and that's what I love to photograph. And I don't live there, so I have to go back there. But when I go back there, I just travel the countryside and I just look for the objects that kind of speak to me. And so as I'm driving, say I'll see a, a windmill that's in the middle of the, the plains. And I don't know if you've ever been to Nebraska, but it's very flat and very empty. And so you have this beautiful, majestic landscape with these very hard, heavy objects just popping up in the middle of the landscape. And if it speaks to me, you know, it's like I look at that as this kind of being that is just this lonely, strong being that's been out there for, you know, generations. If you have a connection to something, listen to that voice in your head, because if you're going to be an authentic artist, you've got to listen to that voice in your head. You've got to, to have your soul kind of light up with, with your artwork. Otherwise, people are going to look at that and see that it's not happening between you and your artwork. And so that would be like the biggest thing is just like really be authentic and, and uh, you know, be yourself and be comfortable with yourself.